Look, I know I've had a slight dilemma on that Star Fox tutorial, and I'm sorry for all that. But at least now I'm doing it. Sorry, I'm a little nervous here. This is my first game walkthrough. I don't even know what to say. And I know this is going on YouTube. That was Rob64. Oh. And, uh... Normally I would use that capture tool, but I don't know what it is, or where to find it, or, wh or what it looks like. Because when it comes to that, I'm a newbie. Anyways, enjoy the walkthrough. Oh, and please tolerate the cutscenes that go by, because I like to watch cutscenes. Sorry about the bad quality. Bring it up a little closer. Well, anyways, I, the great Jonathan one of five nine seven, have just have just begun the tutorial that I've been delaying th about three months for. And now, listen to the legend. I'm going to turn it up. General Pepper of the Cornerian Army was successful in exiling this maniacal scientist to the barren, deserted planet, Venom. Five years later, General Pepper noticed strange activity coming from Venom. James McLeod, Pigma Dangar, and Peppy Hare of the Star Fox team were sent to investigate. Sorry about the blurry picture. Upon their arrival, Pigma betrayed the team, and James and Peppy were captured but by But if you know Andor. this game, you know what it looks Peppy like. barely escaped Venom and returned home to tell James' son, Fox, about his father's fate. A few years have passed. Andros has again invaded the Lilat system. General Pepper has turned to a new Star Fox team, headed by Fox McCloud, to save Corneria and free the Lilat system once again. Okay, in this first part, I'm only going to do the first level. Oh, and FYI, there's a secret in there that I'm not sure you know, but I'm just going to show it to you anyway. Here we are, Corneria. It's about time you showed up, Fox. You're the only hope for our world. I'll do my best. Andros won't have his way with me. Okay. Now that we got that out of the way, enjoy this first cutscene. Okay then. Now then. Watch care. Now watch and watch closely. Pierce through the bad quality. When I when you get that, when you hear that sound, it means you got some new laser. No problem, Slippy. My pleasure. <laughs> Just thought I'd do that. I know.
got him before he could even knock down that building. Oh. And because I was afraid I would mess up, I'm not actually playing my N64. I'm actually using a tape recording. That's right. I recorded this quite a while ago. Actually, not quite a while ago. Probably like a year ago. Before I even started YouTube, that's for sure. Now I'll get the ones behind you, Falco. Oh. Two. Oh yeah. Keeping Falco back in the air was one of the ways to keep this to to unlock one of the secrets. <laughs> there goes his famous reference. I once again apologize for the long delay. Oh, and the other part of the secret, you'll need to fly through all through underneath all of those. Yeah. What that is. Yeah, just fly underneath them. And so, follow Falco. And it goes to the waterfall. Don't panic if he's leading you there. There's nothing behind the waterfall except the next obstacle. And watch out for those mines. He'll always say that when he when you get hit when he when you accidentally hit him. He's like, hey Einstein, I'm on your side. And that someone would be me. What do you mean? When he says drop altitude, it means fly low. Oh yeah. When you have Slippy around you, he'll keep track of the boss's health points. Well, this present's terrible. Send it back to the store. Do you have the receipt? That's right. Okay. All right. As soon as you blast away that, immediately fire at that. Yeah, like so. We're Starbox. You never defeat Andros. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Of course I'm fine. Okay, and that pretty much covers the first level. Well, at least the secret part to it, anyway. And I'll be showing you the second part next... Not next week, but tomorrow. Okay? Bye!